In post-impressionist Vincent Van Gogh's painting of his bedroom, we see a chair. But nobody could sit in that chair. What's Vincent's angle? Well, Vincent's problem was the same as a lot of people in drawing. He didn't know how to foreshorten angles. So I want to show you a little exercise I've invented uh, that might help if you're having this problem of foreshortening angles. Well, but first of all, what is foreshortening? If you don't know that, foreshortening is simply a process for uh, foreshortening and turning in the right direction any angle that is flattened more or less and coming moving towards you um, might be a tabletop it could be a um, it could be a chair it could be a boat one of the um, tip, one of the typical examples I can think of is when people are trying to draw a, a rowboat they'll be standing in front of it looking at it and whereas the distance between the front of the boat and the rear boat is very short the way we draw it a lot of people would draw it as if it were the full length of the boat so uh, this is a little thing I've come up with that I hope might help you if you practice this exercise you know this is the kind of exercise you could practice in the doctor's office while you're waiting or or almost in the grocery store line or almost anywhere um, practice this exercise until it until it registers in your brain how this works and I think you'll find it might be helpful. Now I've got here a photograph of a chair and an ottoman that I want to use as um, uh, as our prop. What I want you to notice here about this chair we're looking at it directly. The arms in the chair and the seat of the chair or chair are foreshortened meaning we know it's a, the arms are a certain length. We have a feeling that the arms are a certain length. In fact, when we draw that, we'll see that our eyes actually shorten that length from the back of it to the front of it. The same with the seat. Our eyes actually shorten that line as they do here. And, and so, that, but that's not all the eyes will do. Our eyes will also um, um, see it as an angle different from the angle we might suspect. So this angle, we know that's a chair, uh, uh, the arm of a chair, and we know it sort of would go out like that. The tendency might be to draw it out like that, and then we have a Van Gogh chair that you can't see then. So, uh, and the angle's going to change regardless of where you are. But when we look at this angle, we see that it actually is straight up and down and very short. But then we move on over to this angle and we see it's not straight up and down. It goes that way, this this way, and that that way. How can a single object that's, that's um, parallel, has parallel shapes like that, have those shapes going in different angles? That's the way our eyes work. So here's the exercise. Step one, you can use the palm of your hand as your drawing pad the finger of another hand as your pencil. Now, if you hold the palm of your hand in front of the subject you're looking at, and be sure that your hand is parallel to your eyes like this, so if you have your hand turned this way or this way, it won't work. And I'm holding my hand right in front of the subject so that you can see it. Then, above your hand, just right above your hand, allow your finger to move um, up and down or back and forth on the angle you're looking at. And by doing that you will feel in which direction the angle goes. And then bring that right on down your hand so that you can feel it. Not only the angle but how short or long it is. So that's a very short angle that goes straight up and down. So we can feel that just like that. Now we don't usually have a problem with angles that go horizontal or even ones that go vertical. It's these angles that, that move around that give us problems. Now, if we move over to this side, first of all, we would move our hand up like that, and then we would allow our finger as our pencil to, to move back and forth over that angle and bring it right down so that the line that we make on our hand is parallel with this line. And we'll see that actually that angle has a slight tilt downward, you might say, 
just between 3 and 4 o'clock on the clock. As we come down, we would find that this angle would be even different. And you can explore angles like that. You can explore vertical angles. You can explore all angles. You can explore angles like that um, on your hand. You see what I mean? If you do this, where you continue the angle on your hand, then, like that, then you get the correct angle. And if you can practice that anywhere you are. It will hit you in such a way that you will find you will never be able to draw an angle, a foreshortened angle, wrong again. You can step, take that step one step further. Uh, with a little inexpensive drawing pad like this, this is one that Utrecht makes, a um, little drawing pad that I call the itty bitty drawing pad. Uh, but you can take a little drawing pad like this and you can do the same thing where you can hold the pad, hold it right here, right in front of you like, like this. I'm doing this backwards for you. But you align the pad in front of your eyes, in front of the thing that you're looking at. Chairs are always real good to start with. And then if you take your pencil and you allow your pencil to follow the angle of whatever the object is and then continue right onto the pad, then you've got it. You see then now you have drawn the angle so that you can see it and then check that you drew it short enough. Then if you move your if you move your pad and your pencil, this you know, this is just drawing one angle at a time. It's not putting them together yet. It's just a way to show you how you can discover those. <clears throat> but then if you go over here, then you can do the same thing. Start the start the uh, feeling of the angle off the pad and then let it move onto the pad like that. See? So now we have the angle of the arm of that chair. And any place, as you can uh, bring your pad, you can move your pad up and down like this as you are uh, drawing or as you are discovering angles that you're looking at. And you can do that where you reach the, uh, reach the, pen, the pencil up into the air to begin the angle and then pull it right down onto the pad. Now, that doesn't draw the thing for you that discovers the angle and it can also discover uh, the length of the angle and it will build into your um, into your system how that goes once you've explored these uh, all throughout whatever number of times you think necessary then try to draw the whole object and notice how that will change your foreshortening and make a chair a drawing of a chair that you could actually sit in and there's your quick tip.